Well, hello there, everyone. This is not Morals Yes Critically Panned Cartoons, no, but instead this is Auto Magic Critic. And today, after a lengthy three long years, I have decided to revisit this long forsaken channel and give you a few updates in what will be happening on this channel. You're probably wondering why I haven't been active with the channel since April of 2017. Well, for one, Morals Yes Critically Panned Cartoons No has served its purpose, and I do not want it to overstay its welcome, because by doing so would make it nothing more than a soapbox in making fun of different stereotypes of people I don't like, when this is antithetical to why I created this channel in the first place. Dark Emo Mario 64, created by Jury Gorlo X started off as being a parody of Nintendo fanboys and manchildren in general, but then it became a staple for Jury Gorlo X to vent about different stereotypes he finds distasteful, often sneaking in his political viewpoints towards his general audience. It has gotten to the point where Dark Emo Mario 64 became nothing more than just the opposite version of Jury, and I don't want this to happen to my own parody ego. While yes, it's true that character development is an inevitable and positive thing that will happen to a character like this, but if the original intent in making the character loses all its meaning, then you might have to reconsider the future of its existence. Another topic I'd like to get into is that this channel, despite it being designed to make fun of various aspects I see within the IGU Ego anime artist cringe community back in 2016, has become a breeding ground for these crypto anime artists who like to call themselves mature users. They say they've dumped the cringy IGUA type garbage that have been festering the same community, but they've still preserved this us versus them mentality. Instead of good versus bad users, it's mature versus immature and cringy users, and instead of collectively shitting on Memi 9909 and Warren Cook, they went ahead and collectively harped on Michael the Neon Guy, or whoever the fuck that man is cutie is called now. Many people who call themselves Go Animate Caters and NODD members back in 2015 had that same mentality. They've had that same good user versus bad user mentality that the Go Animate users had before then. Mary Marin, this comedian 99 swell and damn out Adam are good examples of people many people like to constantly bitch about. My morals yes critically and cartoons no account by its very design alone has been making fun of this type of good user versus bad user mentality many of the Go Animate subdivisions seem to have. If you didn't know, the IGUA among other groups were harping on this obvious troll known as the best channel from late 2015 to early 2016, and I made a parody video mocking their hatred for the best channel. Now, usually we'd see IGUA type people seeing this, learn from their mistakes and dump this tribal attitude that goes fucking nowhere, but no, they would acquire this and accumulate it into their already cancerous way of thinking, and that's how the concept of being a mature user came to be. They have the potential to snap out of it, but that would first require to dump their good user versus bad user mentality and put their toys away. They don't fully realize why it's bad, but instead they accumulate their new knowledge and find a way to use it to substitute their good user versus bad user tribalism, and they would then virtue signal on how they are mature users, and how they don't use the autism card anymore, and how they don't take trolls like the best channel seriously anymore. Ha ha, I may be a goal animator, but at least I don't do that. Ha 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 ha. Oh wow, I am so impressed, Wanda Cookie. Now, not every single person who comments this are GoAnimate related people, but a lot of people, specifically people in the autism spectrum such as myself are susceptible to saying stuff like this for approval. You don't have to do that at all. If the things we are criticizing Matthew Davis, Brendan Barney, and among other people don't apply to you at all, then you don't need to say those things. The only thing that this applies to would be the same type of people who has those 1 billion fucking abbreviations in their usernames, and they in general behave in a way that fits them under the category go fag. but other than that, I don't understand why you guys say those things, especially when the people critiquing said behavior don't seem to be looking to improve it, but rather use them as a commodity for memes and generally punching down at them, wink wink, but I digress. Another thing that I would like to mention is that most of the parody channels that serve primarily as an offshoot to my parody channel have gotten pretty stale over time. I of course wasn't the one who started this whole parody channel thing, both Bracket Neutron 37 and Voltron Starfire, better known to many, as Master Duty Bloodbath created their own parody channels mocking the GoAnimate community, with Bracket Neutron 37 creating shows with Morals Yes Teen Titans Go and the Nutshack No, and Voltron creating the Simpsons and Family Die Yes Baby Shows No. I am excluding Cartoon Person 1212 created by Ray Rules 96 because his original purpose was to make fun of Enderbots and cartoon elitists, but then moved into joining in the Go Anime parody community over time. I can safely say that my Morals Yes character was the one that truly kicked things off with parody channels, and this got many more people to join the bandwagon. 
But then, as time went by, and as more people came in, the parody channels started to become more stale, bland and watered down, to the point where they've become indifferent from one another. The reason I am bringing this up is because I am continuing to see some parody channels popping up from people who think that it's still relevant, and they are mainly created by people who surprisingly enough are the very people my parody channel is designed to make fun of. I'm pretty sure you've seen some of them. You know, I do believe that this channel was fun to do for a while, not only that, but it's probably the most effective means of getting your message across, or at least to an extent considering what it appeals to now. It has been stated that performative cruelty and satire are pretty effective in having people get on your side, and while it has not been effective in some part of the community, it has however been effective in many parts of it, believe me, there is a lot of reformed IGUA people in my audience, aside from maybe a few exceptions. I might use this channel again for a different purpose, but who knows, maybe make a few morals yes videos once again for old time's sake. Anyway, this is Auto Magic Critic, and have a great rest of your day. Go to sleep.